Hi, in this video we will be seeing about cell splitting. Cell splitting increases the capacity of cellular system since it increases the number of times the channel are, channel are reused. Okay. It, uh, cell splitting it defines new cells which have smaller radials than the original cells. So, installation of these smaller cells are called microcells between the existing cells. So, we have seen in the types, right? So, microcells, macro, all that, right? So, the splitting of these cells into smaller cells, they are called microcells between the existing cells. So, now what happens? Capacity increases because due to additional number of channels per unit. So, the final capacity increases. Spell, cell splitting advantages this. So, definition if you see, Cell splitting is the process of subdividing a congested cell into smaller cells each with it within its own base station. Okay, you are going to split a congested cell into smaller cells each of which is there within its own base station. So, this is how it is. Right, you have many number of cells and then here you see this has been splitted into small cells. These are called micro cells and the area actually it is increasing. So, you have split the splitted cells within that cell itself. So, now R has will be reduced to R by 2. So, here is how the cell splitting takes place. Here, uh, you have the bigger cell being uh, split into small cells again smaller cells like so the smaller becomes pico this becomes micro this is a macro cell okay so when traffic density starts to build up and frequency frequency channels in each cell cannot provide enough number of mobile calls the original cell can be split into smaller cells okay so when original cell is split into smaller cells when when you cannot handle the traffic density. So, the original congested uh, bigger cell is called macro and the smaller cell is called micro cell. So, capacity of a cellular network can be increased by creating micro cells within the original cell. We saw in the diagram uh, the micro cells. So, these cells will have smaller radius than macro cells. The micro cells will have smaller radius than macro cells. So, finally, the capacity of a system increases because more channels per unit area are now, al now available in the network. Okay. So, splitting of cell causes an unbalanced situation in power and frequency reuse distance. This is a disadvantage. Hence, it becomes necessary to split small cells from the neighboring cells. Now, when this unbalanced uh, situation occurs, what we do is we split uh, uh, bigger cells into smaller cells from the neighboring cells. Okay, so cell splitting not only affects the original cell, but it also affects the neighboring cells. 